Hey, what's up? Welcome to live.bestechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. Received an email today from uh, one of my viewers. His name is Bree After. Um, he's, he's from part of the community at live.bestechie.net. And he wrote to me saying, I've been very unimpressed with Windows Vista Ultimate um, and that he's decided to make the move over to Mac. Uh, he says the decision came to him when he, his computer had to, every five to ten minutes, it crashed. And he, he got sick of it, he says. So he said, I went and I ordered my first Mac Pro. The system specs are below, and uh, can you please tell me if I made the right decision? Well, well, let me go through the system specs, and he goes on to ask me. Uh, I'll go through the system specs in a second. He goes, now I still need to use Windows Vista for sound dubbing because I have Adobe Audition. Um, so he wants to know what would be the better choice for running it. A virtual machine like VMware Fusion, which is what I use, um, or boot camp. Um, and he also wants to know which will be better to which he wants to know which will be better to carry out his tasks. And he wants to know, his final question is, do I have any applications that I can recommend um, in well, for OS ten? So let's break this down. Um, here we go. First of all, his specs for the Mac Pro are almost identical to mine. Um, very, very, almost like almost exactly the same. He got the two 2.8 gigahertz quad core uh, Xeons. Uh, two gigabytes of RAM. He ordered another eight gigs separately. He ordered the 320 hard drive, and he has a one terabyte and a, another 320, which he's going to add. So very similar configuration to mine, except that I have the one terabyte in there, and I added two 320s myself. He got the NVIDIA 8800 GT. Um, good choice. And he got two 16x super drives and the wireless keyboard and mouse, plus an Airport Extreme card. All right, so he's gonna have 10 gigs of RAM, which is what I have, and he's and he wants to know basically should he run Fusion, VMware Fusion, or should he run Boot Camp? Now the way he phrased the question, I'm gonna I'm thinking he thinks um, that you can Boot Camp can also run while OS 10 is running. That is not the case. Boot Camp is different than uh, Fusion in the sense that Bootcamp will install Vista or XP as a separate install, like a dual boot almost. Um, so that being the case, you have to reboot and boot into Vista, and then reboot again to boot back into OS X if you're going to do it that way. With Fusion, with VMware Fusion, uh, you can run Windows within OS X. Um, and Fusion has a very, very nice feature called Unity Mode, which essentially makes it seamlessly integrate within to the OS X system. Um, so you can have your Windows apps directly running on your desktop without the VM without the the virtual machine box open. So it's very, very easy to configure um, and set up. It looks great. Now with 10 gigabytes of RAM, um, should you go you have plenty of RAM to to give to your virtual machine. Now if you're doing something like audio dubbing, um, uh, I only I only put 512 uh, megabytes of RAM to my virtual machine, but if you're doing audio dubbing, you're probably going to want at least a gig in there. And you can and if you're not running it all the time, there's no reason why it sh why it would be a problem. If you're just running virtual machine um, to do your audio dubbing and whatnot, then it, then dedicating a one gig of the system and having nine gigs left over, you know, it's not like the end of the world or anything. You can even dedicate two gigs if you wanted to. Um, Depending on your needs, how much how much editing you're doing. So, to me, I I would go with the virtual machine software, VMware Fusion. I, I like it better than Parallels, and I like it better than Boot Camp. It's the better decision, um, better better choice, in um in my opinion. So that's what I would go with. Uh, in terms of, you know, what's better to run Vista XP, um, I I installed Vista originally on my machine, and uh, I didn't, it was slow in the virtual machine, it was, I don't want to say it was unusable, but it, XP is much better in terms of virtual machine performance because you don't have to uh, allocate as much RAM to it in order for it to function nicely, and it's just much better. If you're going to do boot camp though, you can go Vista, no problem, it's fine. Even in, in uh, VMware Fusion though, you can, you can allocate four cores to your, your Vista machine plus like two gigs of RAM and you could be flying you know I mean you have the power to have like a second computer running right then and there with a the virtual machine I just didn't allocate that much power to it I had one processor one core and um, 
and, and a gig of RAM, so it wasn't that fast, but you can do that. You can probably work with Vista fine. Um, either way, depending on how you feel and what you want to allocate your resources to the virtual machine, that's up to you. I gave you my feelings on that, so if it were me, I'd go with XP, um, just because it's faster, you don't have to allocate as much to it, and you still have plenty of power on the Mac side. Uh, in terms of applications I recommend, there are a few right off the top of my head I'll recommend. One of them is called App Zapper, A-P-P Zapper. Um, and that, there's a free alternative to App Zapper. Um, it's called App Delete. Basically what they do is they, they will delete, um, uninstall applications that you no longer use. Like let's say you wanted to uninstall, I don't know, let's say you installed Photoshop or something, right? And you wanted to uninstall it. Typically on the Mac there's no add or move programs. So what this thing does is instead of just you deleting it from the applications folder, which sometimes leaves leftover files in your library folder or other system preferences, wherever they may be, this, you just drag it into the application and it finds all the files associated with it and it will remove them so you have a nice, clean install uninstallation. That's what I rec that's first of all. Another one I like, um, if you need FTP purposes, I like Cyberduck, it's free. There's also an uh, another uh, software out there for FTP called Expand Drive, and I've done a review on it. Um, it's, on, it's on my blog somewhere. And it's a very nice software. It's made by a company called Magnetic. And it's, it, but basically what it is, it's a secure, it uses um, SSH and it connects to your server securely and you can basically edit the files as if they are part of the OS X environment. It just, what it does is it mounts um, the, uh, the, the server as a drive and you can basically access it as, as, as if it was another folder or hard drive in the computer. So that's really cool. Also, what else do I recommend? Um, there's a, there's a, if you're into music, which you do audio stuff, um, iTunes works really well on the Mac, but there's an additional application called Cover Sutra, and it's really cool. Basically, it adds a little, you can have a little album art on your desk. This is just for looks and stuff, but if you want, you can have the album art on your desktop. But the nice thing about it is it has a search function similar to Spotlight for your iTunes library, and you can basically type in whatever you like, and it'll search your entire library really fast, faster than the iTunes search, and it's really cool and sleek. It's very, very nice. Not free, but it works really nice. Uh, in terms of IM, if you're looking for a good IM client, I like uh, Adium, one of my favorite um, IM clients on the Mac. There's so many good Mac applications out there. If you were looking for a specific one, I probably could help you out with that. But those are the, you know, those are some I really like that are basic applications that you know I I use daily. My favorites right there. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can think of. Firefox, of course. Um, you know that. I don't know. I mean, there's, oh, here's one, here's one. If you're looking to keep track of your system resources, there's an app, a little, men, it's called menu meters. It sits in your menu bar at the top, and you can monitor your RAM usage, your CPU usage, your network usage, etc. Very simple. It just sits up there. Very easy. Uh, oh, last one. Here's a little tweaking tip. Uh, I, I haven't done a video on this, but it's really cool software. It's called Secrets. Secrets is, um, is a little tweaking application that basically it pulls it down from a database a central database and then once it, once it updates it download it downloads the new secrets and it just unlocks different functionality and features of different applications and builds it all into one little thing uh, there's a there's another software called Mac pilot which does a similar thing a little more um, powerful but it's not free but secrets is free so you can check out secrets uh, hope that helps Bri after I really do um, and if you have any more questions feel free to email me best techie at best techie I'll be happy to do a video on it um, Bri, I really hope this helps, and uh, I know you're in chat right now, so thanks for watching, guys. Of course, this has been live.bestticket.net, and of course, remember, we're doing an iPod Touch giveaway in a few days. On Saturday, August 23rd, we're giving this away to one of you lucky people. Um, as long as you are subscribed to my YouTube channel or a member of the forums and present in the chat room at live.bestticket.net, on August 23rd at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, you are eligible to win this. So come by that. Uh, come by, say hi to me. Even if I'm not streaming, come say hi to me in the chat. And uh, until then, we'll see ya. And remember, take care of your computers.